Alrighty. How you guys feeling? Good? I know. A little change of pace here, but it's fun, right? Next up. What's up everybody? Welcome to your super awesome Saturday workout. If you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button so you can continue to get more awesome workouts like this one we're about to get into. We're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna play follow the leader. That means we're gonna go on my pace for reps, all right? So just follow my lead the entire time. Meanwhile, we're gonna start it off basic movements, jumping jacks, squats, and walkouts. We're gonna start with 20 jumping jacks, 10 squats, and five walkouts to a push-up on your own pace. You ready? Don't worry, follow the leaders coming up soon. Let's go. Twenty jacks here. Let's get into ten squats. Warm up those legs. We're gonna be hitting a little bit of everything today. All right, now you can do that walk out to a push up for five reps. Reach out to those toes, walk it out, tall plank position, drop into that push up, walk it back. Try to keep those legs nice and straight. I got one more here. All right, guys, let's get back to those jacks one more time for 20 reps. Into those squats for 10. And then lastly, let's finish up those five walkouts, reach down to those toes, drop into that push up. And there's one more for me. All right, everybody. Let's talk about this one. We basically have five superset blocks. The first one's gonna be two-handed swings and mountain climbers. Like I said earlier, this is gonna be follow the leader. This first block is gonna be swings and we're gonna ladder up, all right? We're gonna maintain with 20 mountain climbers. So we're gonna start five swings, then 10 swings, and then 15 swings, then 20 swings. Meanwhile, supersetting that with 20 mountain climbers. But you're not gonna move on to the next round or the ladder up until I say. Make sense? You can go heavy bell, light bell here. I'm gonna start with that heavy bell. Just a 36 for those swings, nothing crazy. You guys ready to rock and roll? We're just looking for two-handed swings, okay? Five reps. Three, two, one, let's go. Bell is down, let's hit the floor on my count. Mountain climbers, slow and steady, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. On your feet. You ready? 10 swings. Set, go.
We've done those 10. Let's go to the floor now. You do 20 reps. Go ahead. When I do my mountain climbers, I like to control it and actually use the abs. I don't like that little running game. All right, let's go. 15 swings. Let's roll. Let's hit the floor. 20 mountain climbers. You ready? Last round. 20 swings. Set. Let's rip it. This is the floor. Let's finish it up. Last set. Go. All righty. How you guys feeling? Good? I know. A little change of pace here, but it's fun, right? Next up, we're gonna hit the floor. Pretty simple. Single arm chest press. Single arm chest press, five left, five right. From there, we have sit ups for 10 reps. That's it, okay? Let's hit the floor. This is what it looks like. You're gonna rack up that bell. Get it up on the forearm. That forearm's vertical the entire time. Elbows out 45 degrees. From here, I like to press as if I'm gonna do a Turkish get up. From there, press up, exhale, inhale down, exhale touch. When you are finished, guys, roll it around your head, rack it up on the other side, and get right into your next set. After that, on my go, we're gonna go 10 sit-ups. Inhale down, Exhale on this sit up. Just four rounds through. I'll tell you when to go. Got it? Cool. Let's get on our backs. Let's rack up that bell. Set. Let's go. Five reps each side. Again, safely bring it around your head, not across your face. Not across your chest. Get into those next reps. You ready? All right, let's get into those sit-ups. Ten reps. Guys, we're going for round two. Let's rack up that bell. Three, two, go ahead, press.
Five on each side. All right, if you're not finished, bell down. Let's get into those sit-ups. Come on, 10 reps. Easy peasy. Head it on to round number three. Rack it up. Come on, let's go. Press. Up and around the head. On to the other side. Come on. Good job, guys. Come on. Let's get into those sit ups. Let's do it. Who's ready for one more? I'll give you five seconds. Rack it up. Last round. Go. On to the other side. Let's finish up with those sit-ups. Do it. All right, you guys ready? Good? All right, two blocks down. We're heading out to our third block. This one, I'm gonna go heavy the entire time, so most likely will slow me down, but you're still gonna go on my, own, on my pace, all right? It's pretty simple. We're going left and right sides with rows. Five left, five right, and then we're going goblet squats, and we're gonna ladder up just like we did our swings. We'll go five goblet squats, 10, 15, and then 20. Sound like a plan? Excellent. I'm just gonna move this mat out of the way with. I don't think we're gonna need it for the rest of the day. All right, we have five rows left, five rows right. Stay strong with it. If you guys have heavy, heavy bell, now's the opportunity to use it. You know what, better yet, I'm gonna challenge you. If you guys use the heavy bell for the two-handed swings, use that same bell for your goblet squats. You ready? Three, two, one, let's pull. When you've done those five, shake it out. When you get into those goblet squats, we're looking for five reps. You ready? Let's squat. When 
contender squat, shake it out. This one's gonna light up those, that heart. All right, get that thumper rolling. Here we go, back into those rows. Two, one, row. Back into that goblet squat for 10 reps this round. Set, let's go. Shake it out. Whew. My legs are burning from yesterday. I filmed uh, volume four, fit five, week three, day three. Killer leg workout. Killer. All right, let's get back into those rows. Round three, go. For a big set here, 15 goblet squats. All right, pace yourself through it, quality of reps. Okay, let's go. I'll tell you, every time I do goblet squats, regardless of the weight, I get to rep 12 and I'm like, I'm done. All right, last round. You ready? Two, one, let's row. ready for that big monster set. 20 goblet squats. Well, we got it. It's only one set. You ready? Three, two, let's just bang them out. Go. Guys, finish it up. <sighs> Evil. Catch your breath. Do your thing. We're heading on to block number four. I 
This one is a creeper. All right. Sorry, you ready? Round number four. We're going cleans. Five left, five right, and then we're going for 10 bicep curls. Use whatever bells you need. I'm gonna go heavy on the cleans. I'm gonna go moderate on the bicep curls. Whatever bells you got. I'm gonna stick with 36 for cleans. I'm gonna go with 18 for bicep curls. I'll tell you what, my biceps, I, I did another 55 workout earlier this week. Just doing 10 reps torched me. I used a 24, it was awful. I had to scale down. All right, ready? From the floor, five cleans left, five cleans right. All right, so place that bell in between your feet. If you're gonna do it from the floor, dead clean. What I highly recommend is placing the bell closer to the heels so you can load up those hips a little bit more. So from here, chest up, you're gonna drive with the legs, zip the bell up, drop it right back at the heels. All right, five left, five right. Set, let's go. That's good. Ready for bicep curls? Let's get into it. 10 reps. Whatever bell you got. All the way down, all the way up. Good. Shake it up. You need those arms. Back to the right or cleans left hand side. Ready? Two, one, go. Shake it loose. 10 more bicep curls. Set. Let's go. Good job. Halfway through. Who, baby? What do you think? You guys good? All right, let's rip it. Go. Ooh, takes a lot out of you, that heavy bell. Bicep curls, ready? Go. Uh. 
about the burn, the Saturday burn. We got one more set to get through. And then one more, then one more round, and one more set. That one is a burner. You ready? Last round. Two, one, let's roll. That's it. Ten bicep curls. Let's finish it. Go. Uh, Shake it out, guys. Stay loose. We got one more. One more block. This one. It'll put a hurt on us. This what's up. We have five presses left. Five presses right. And we have five burpee shoulder taps. Check it out. Hands down, you guys know the burpee from here. Drop into the push-up, tall plank, tap, tap, jump, hop. Again, after the push-up, tap, tap, jump in, stand. We're looking for five reps there. All right, this is it. Four rounds, five presses left, five presses right. On me, we hit the burpees, and we'll go through it. You guys ready? Presses, left arm. Here we go. Three, two, rack it up, press it away. Right on to the other side. So those presses, shake it out. I'll give you five more seconds. Five reps. In two, one, hit it. Got that guy slows you down during that burpee for more controlled reps. Alright, going into round number two. Set. Come on, let's roll. Five presses. Ready to hit the floor. Two, one, come on, let's go.
breathe. I'll give you a second. We got two more rounds. Man, I really wanted to make this exactly 30 minutes. But guess what? It's all good. We got a couple more minutes, all right? I know the trolls in the YouTube world. I thought it was supposed to be 30 minutes. Guess what? It'll be 33. You ready? Round three. Let's go. Press. Alright guys, finish up those presses. You ready for burpees? Two, one, hit it. Start in 10 seconds. All right. Two, one, let's go. All we got is burpees, and we got to finish it up in the next 40 seconds. Come on, hit it. If you're done, you're done. Shake it out and breathe. Oh, baby. Whew. All right, guys. I wanna thank you all for, for joining. That's all I have for you today. Stretch out on your own. All right, just a reminder, for those who don't know, all my five-week kettlebell programs are half off this weekend only. So get them while you can, just hit that link. $49 for any five week program you want. That's 25 workouts, follow along workouts, each and every day is brand new, okay? Other than that, my friends, I wanna credit this workout to an old coach of mine, John Hubicki. This was his style of training. He loved doing this on Saturday. He was the first person to help me with the business and grew that Saturday class for me and this is the style he always did i don't know if he because he liked counting reps like this he controlled the class like this or the fact that he didn't use know how to use the timer either which one they're always fun to get into i did this one last week kind of reminded to, to, of him so i wanted to bring this to you guys hopefully you enjoyed it anyways if you haven't yet smash that subscribe button for more killer workouts like this one comment in the comment section below did you keep up with me? Did you go surpass me? It doesn't matter as long as you got in a good workout. Until next time, my friends.